Hello beautiful Leos, how are you today? Hope all is well. Let's get your channeled messages. Leo, you have just had a big promotion or something in your life that's moving and propelling you forward very quickly. You have a lot of fire in your belly right now. We have a lot of sad energy coming up here. You may be traveling, you may doing, be doing some international travel. And I get the lover's card for you. First card out of the deck on this love reading. Ah, interesting energy. So you are going somewhere. So let's see, lover's card, making a choice, leaving somewhere. And we have the Tower card. So something very unexpected has happened in your love life, Leo. So what's happening here? Interesting start. <laughs> A big start, I would say. The Eight of Cups sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes means travel also. The Tower card also means that you could want to travel to see someone with that combination, okay? So, Leo, lots of interesting energy. These cards are just like sticking. Look at this. We have the Death card. We have the Ten of Cups, Happily Ever After card. We have the Legacy Marriage card. We have the, the New Beginnings card. Wow. Leo, what is going on? Okay, well, we're going to find out. I have some ideas. <laughs> Big changes for you. Big changes. Okay. Okay, we need one more card spirit for the outcome. Tell us about the outcome for Leo and love at this time. World card. Uh, look at that. Closing out a cycle. I guess we need one more card. Sorry. We needed two. We now have one. Okay, five of wands. Leo, there you are in your reading. Leo energy. Okay. Very interesting. There are two stories that I see here, Leo. Some of you are leaving a lover behind after an argument because you want to have a happily ever after with someone. So you are going to move into a marriage energy with someone new. Um, you're going to make a choice with the lover's card. For others of you, I see the reverse happening. I see some of you may be leaving a legacy marriage because you want more satisfaction and it comes out of the blue, it comes very suddenly, and it comes after a blow up. So, again, as you know, if you watch tarot all the time, this is very much the energy that, you know, it resonates differently with everybody. So take what belongs to you and leave the rest, but we're gonna clarify these cards for you. That is really phenomenal energy though. That is a lot of major arcanas we have the Fool, the World, the Death card, the Lover's card, and the Tower card. And we have two Legacy Happily Ever After Marriage cards. Really interesting. All right, so why is the Lover's card here in this recent past situation for Leos? Ah, you have been watching someone. Leo, what are you up to? <laughs> okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? You're trying to manifest them. You want to manifest this person. You want to see them. What's the... Why is the Tower card here? Why is the Tower card here, Leo? Why is the Tower card here? Ah, look at this. We have the Eight of Cups clarifying the Tower. And we have the Starry Nights, Friendship. Boy, okay, so now we need a clarification. What is being left behind? What is being left behind? You does look like you're traveling to see a lover in a very unexpected way. I would say that. 
two cards of leaving. Why do we have two cards of leaving? The clarifier and the main card in the reading. What is Leo doing here with this Eight of Cups card? What is Leo doing with the Eight of Cups? All right, there we go. You want to invest in someone or something. I don't see a card of juggling and I don't see, what I don't see is, is interesting here is what I do see. And actually it's what I don't see that's creating the mystery. Okay, well, Leo, you have something going on behind closed doors. Here you are in your reading. You plan on having a victory by ending something. So, okay, so let's see. In your heart space, Leo, we have that you want to be really happy. And what I'm getting here is with the tower card and with what you've invested with somebody, you are not happy. You are not happy. Let's see, I have a card that flipped over here. Okay, where is it? That's always, oh, there it is. Okay, oh, the hidden passion, quite literally, Leo. You have a hidden passion here for somebody that you want to live happily ever after with, but you have to end something else. You have to make a choice. It's going to totally disrupt what you've been invested in, but you want to invest differently now. All right, so what do we have here with the Eight of, well, the eight of Cups has all that passion and heat. The traditional marriage, the, the legacy marriage, there we go, now I have the answer. Okay, now it's coming out. Spirit is telling us that you want to end possibly a long-term marriage because you're in love with somebody else. You want more happiness. It also looks as though in a long-term marriage, there could be a lot of fighting. There could be a lot of difficulty in your relationship. It does look as though your heart is somewhere else. This is the two of coins. It could be juggling two people. And with the lover's card and marriage cards in this reading, I would say that there has been a period of time, maybe up to two years, that you have been, you know, you've had two different relationships. You want to start something new, though. You want to grow and expand. Look at this. The star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true. Leo, you are in love. You are smitten. You are smitten with somebody who's very beautiful spiritually, inside and out. Okay. Why is the world card here? And Spirit is saying, go ahead. You know, you can leave. Oh, look at this. Going from marriage to bachelorhood. Okay. So Spirit is saying it's okay to close out a cycle that the cycle that you're going to go to, Leo, is going to be happier. It's going to be filled with love. It's going to be filled with somebody who thinks the world of you. It's going to be filled with someone with whom you'll have a lot of happiness. Uh, that it'll be a very calm relationship, serene. You'll be able to talk things through. But <laughs> what do we have here? Okay, so your outcome card, as you can see here, for the reading is the Five of Wands, and that's competition, that's burning the house down. So it does look like, you know, this relationship that you're in will not end easily. But it does look like you may pick up and move out, literally move out. You may do it very suddenly. And you just feel as though you're tired of apologizing to somebody, Leo. You just feel as though it's too much. You know, it does show that you are underestimating the amount of love in the relationship. But what we're seeing here is that happiness counts. And it is, you know, you're usually very steadfast. You are a fixed sign. You have a lot of passion. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Yep, here we go. Passion. Somebody that you may work with or that you worked with in the past. So I'm just going to get additional messages for you here. And it shows that you have a lot of passion for this person. So, Leo, you want someone with whom you can collaborate with.
You know, when we look at this picture of the three of coins, we look at, it looks like a mom and a dad and a child, and it's peaceful, it's serene, they're just there together being happy. And I just see that, you know, when I look at this, it just looks like a lot of turmoil. The death spiral has been on this relationship that you're leaving for a very long time. I would say you could have been unhappy for a number of years. So it does look like, you know, you don't feel good about leaving. It's causing a lot of drama in your life. Let's see what the advice is from Spirit, though, for you. Let's look at this. The Shaman Dreams Oracle is really great advice. So let's look and see what this energy says about what you're about to choose. Because it looks like you're really at that point where you may have already made a decision, Leo. Let's see, what is the, what is the, what do the shamans have to say for you? Let's see. Me talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Well, those eight of cups are all about that. It's about leaving something that's just overwhelming. It's really time for you to repair, to repair the damage that's been done by the tower by the constant need to apologize, ego-driven battles. You're just moving out of that energy. You know, you're just moving out of that energy. Let's see what other messages we have. Leo in love, Leo in love. Oh, Leo. Big, big reading for you here. Will of the Wisps. Treasures hidden in the shadows, see? That's a hidden love relationship. That's what I'm seeing here. The Magician card is, is the hidden in the shadows card of the lovers with whom you've experienced a beautiful love, a soulmate energy that is the rock star in your life and who is your best friend. All right, so... That's what we have for you, Leo. Thanks. Sending you love. Take care. Bye-bye.